Hey team, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't been here before, my name's Felix. If you watched my last video, you will have seen that I've recently become an ambassador of the Athlete's Foot, which I'm so stoked about. Had the opportunity to go in store um, and get a full shoe rotation fitted by a head trainer, Hendo. So go back and check that video out uh, if you haven't already. Um, but in this video, I just go through some of the shoes um, that I received on the day. And now is about just testing them really, but a bit of a preface for this video. I'm not a shoe geek, like I'm not a shoe expert, but I've become super interested in the tech that, that powers as runners to our goals and like more recently I've done a couple of running seasons I've started running sub three over the marathon distance so ran 254 at the Gold Coast in a pair of race shoes yeah I guess like I want to learn more and I'm not coming to you here to talk about shoes as an expert but I can tell you categorically how I feel about a shoe yeah if you're a shoe expert or someone who works in a shoe store just bear with me because I'm probably not to your level of proficiency um, but for now I'm going to talk through some of these shoes with you. So first and foremost, um, I actually got the New Balance Fuel Cell Super Comp Trainer V3 that I've been doing a lot of training in now. So I ran six surfing them. They are just beautiful to run in, to be honest with you. I can't find a reason not to run in them. And they are a shoe that I just get excited um, about the thought of, of running in. So yeah, I think I can just do so much running in these shoes, which I am going to, I won't be racing in them though. Um, and then the next pair of shoes that I wanted to speak about, which I've done a bit talking about in this video actually, is the Brooks Hyperion Max. <laughs> Morning team, welcome to Centennial Park on this beautiful Sunday morning. I am running in the Brooks Hyperion today. So, to be quite honest, I have not had a tempo shoe in the rotation at all. I've just been sticking on the race shoes for a race or running in an everyday trainer. And so that's why I'm so excited to try these shoes because there's been a lot of talk about them. They're an interesting shape. They're a beautiful colour. Yeah, I think on reflection, yeah, a little bit, a little bit heavier than a race shoe, and a little bit more responsive. And look, I'm really enjoying the shoe. And that's it. That's all I've got to say. But yeah, chatting with Hendo, they've just got that bigger um, stack height towards the midfoot as well and forefoot, um, which is something that like I really like the look of at the moment. Um, as, a, as a bit of a heel striker in the past, I want to I change that and run more on my midfoot. So in terms of daily trainers, um, I, I picked up the Adidas Supernova Prima. Just got my morning run done with uh, Charles. So 13, 14K run there. And really wanted to be intentional today about wearing the Supernova Primas that Hendo gave me. He's really passionate about the Adidas shoes at the moment and rightly so. Like Adidas have been tearing it up. I need to look at Mr. Tamarin Toller recently and um, and everyone else in the, uh, the Adidas shoe to know that they're producing some really great shoes. Now that I've got the choice between all these shoes, if I'm doing a really easy slow run like I am today a bit of elevation a few stairs and stuff you know I'm gonna go for I'm gonna opt for the really basic everyday trainer like the supernova which has a lot of cushioning a lot of heel support and some really great tread on the bottom for those slippery steps and for changing surfaces and they're fresh as well another example of where getting fitted was actually such a good idea with these shoes because they fit me like a glove. And look, they're awesome. They're obviously really great shoes. Ultimately from getting fitted in store, um, I was able to determine that, you know, I've been getting the wrong size, um, which is a pretty massive um, thing. So yeah, a bit bigger in the Supernovas. I don't know if I get excited about running in these shoes. And I think because now I've tried a shoe like the fuel cell trainer and I know that I can apply that trainer to my daily training. When I look at a daily trainer like the Supernova, I kind of, I don't know, it just doesn't get me riled up to run in it. Um, maybe I need to do more running to really make the most of like a daily trainer like the Supernova because I only actually run like 
40 to 50 k's a week, I do a lot of cycling as well. So I think maybe if I was running more like 70 to 80 k's a week, and I was doing that easy treadmill run, or that, you know, six minute, um, sort of six minute per k flat loop um, for like eight to 10 k's, you know, maybe I'd, I'd be wearing the shoe a lot more. I don't, I don't know how much I wear it, to be honest. Um, yeah, I just, I just want to get excited about what I'm doing. That's, that's what it's all about. Another shoe that I've been given by the athletes for is the Asics Gel Kayano 31s. To be quite honest, that you really cannot go wrong with a pair of Kayanos. Like they're so versatile, and I think today, knowing that I was going to go and just do some easy Ks with a mate, where we were going to catch up, the Kayanos were the perfect choice. Um, super sturdy. Um, Lots of support. Yeah, I think as well, like knowing that I was going to be running in the rain, you know, you don't want to be taking your, your favorite pair out. Um, you want to be taking a pair out that, you know, you feel really secure in. But yeah, great run. Um, that was 16 Ks there. And I did 17 yesterday. And I think that's exciting because in a 50K week, I know that I can try and run sub three at Sydney which I didn't think I would be able to. Um, of course, I have run sub three before, but I just think with the runner's knee, the lack of running, um, I kind of felt as though I wasn't in a place to go and take that on. I think there's no reason why I can't put together two, um, you know, 50, 60K weeks on the back of this one and get myself in a really good place and like, the shoe rotation is absolutely a part of that. Like having a good shoe rotation. Well, A, you don't want to be run running in worn out shoes because you're essentially going to hurt yourself. But you want your shoes to complement the diversity of running that you're doing. And I think if I've learned anything from preparing for a marathon, you're not just doing the same kind of running through the entire week. Sarah did say to me that she thought that they were the kind of trainers that a PE teacher would wear. So just want to give some feedback on the colorway. They're not that hot, um, but I, you know, ultimately I feel like I can't go wrong in the Kayanos. So they will remain as a staple uh, in the shoe rotation, but I think in the future, if I had the choice, I would absolutely go for something, a colorway that's a bit more you know, electric. And so now that the main character in this rotation, it's the Socony Endorphin Pro 4. This is the shoe that I'm gonna run Sydney Marathon in. And right now we're gonna go for a run in these. So this is a marathon race pace session where I'm gonna go and run 30 Ks. I'm gonna do uh, 10 Ks warming up. And I'm gonna do two by seven Ks at race pace. So just doing some race pace efforts on fatigued legs, which worked for me quite well for the last marathon. And um, we're gonna sort of, yeah, see how the shoe feels. Really looking forward to it and let's get on with it. Good morning team. The time has come. I'm gonna be doing my biggest run for quite some time now. Got my gels. I've done a little uh, pre-run stretch out. Anyway. Now it's time. Oh. Hi team, coming to you post my long run. 30 Ks in the bag, what a run. That was excellent. Um, yeah, like totally elevated by the Endorphin Pros as well. I'll talk a bit about them in a minute. But I was super lucky to run into my friend, Brett Hallam, who is an elite triathlete and also an ambassador of the athlete's foot. But yeah, it was just a cracking run. Like when he saw me, he turned around and was like, yeah, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do your sets, which was epic. Like to have someone supporting you there and holding you to account is excellent. Um, and so, yeah, like, and I'm really proud of myself as well for stretching out before the run and after the run as well. Um, feel really good with that. So the run itself, um, I might have already spoken about this, but I broke it down into like a 10 to 12K warm up, 
and two 7k sets at race pace when i say race pace i was i think i was running at around four minutes per per kilometer for those kilometers and my race pace is actually a bit slower than that but knowing that we're gonna have some uh, one or two savage hills in the sydney marathon i thought let's uh, let's push it a bit today interesting one i forgot my carb mix for some reason so i had the four pure gels um, I would have run with my carb mix that has electrolytes in it as well. Completely forgot, and yeah, I did feel it towards the end there. I felt my my sort of upper chest stitching and cramping, and um, same with with my gut. That happens when I'm dehydrated. So it's just, you know, that's why we do this stuff. That's why we test because um, it's really important. It's really really important. So I won't make that mistake on game day. The shoes themselves. So let's let's chat about the shoes. Um, they were epic, That I, I felt how sort of stiff they were um, and, and minimal as well and yeah, they really excite me these shoes, I've said it more than once. I think a really good reflection for anyone who is just starting to do more running and is looking at a performance shoe like this and thinking that's, that's the thing that's going to get me a bit faster. I had a really good reflection with the shoe today because um, I found some rubbing on one part in particular on my foot and it's actually um, this part here so it's like a bit of a two-piece upper this thing and very minimal like you can see through it um, and the seam that attaches one piece to another there's nothing underneath that like it's a bit of a exposed seam and it was rubbing on my foot especially on the downhills and so I've got a little bit of rubbage on there um, and I think you know when you run in a shoe like this you, you have to take for granted that it's not going to be the most comfortable shoe they're like they're not designed to do your easy runs in or, or even really your tempo runs like this is a race day shoe and um, you know you sacrifice um, comfort for running economy and for efficiency so that was just a really good reflection I made there ultimately like I will run Sydney Marathon in these and I'm super excited about them but with the, um, you know, with everything that I've just said, I think the endorphin speeds would be really cool to train in because they do have just a bit more comfort and protection um, on the upper and around the heel. But yeah, it was an epic run. I just, it, that get, that gives me confidence for, for the day itself. That gives me a lot of confidence. 60K a week done. Let's get it.